So based on what you've told me about your child's health and their examination and hearing tests, I agree that they've got middle ear disease. I'm going to use some diagrams and photos now to explain that to you. There are three parts to the ear. You can see the ear on the outside and then I can look down the ear canal which is like a tunnel. It ends at the eardrum which looks like a round window that you can see through. Behind the eardrum is the middle ear and this is a space that should be full of air. The air gets there from a tube at the back of the nose so that when you pop your ears or yawn you'll often feel air entering your ear with a pop. Further in is the inner ear. There's a small chain of bones from the eardrum to the inner ear to carry sound through. For the middle ear to work well it has to be full of air. In little kids the tube from the back of the nose to the middle ear often doesn't work well. It usually improves with growth and time. It's usually worse and they're more prone to ear disease when they've had a cold. To improve middle ear disease in children, our aim is to get another way of getting air into the middle ear. We do this by making a hole in the eardrum. Through that hole we can suction out any fluid that's in the middle ear and then air can come in and out through the hole and usually that improves hearing and ear pain. The hole that we make heals very quickly so we use a small plastic tube called a grommet to hold the hole open. The grommet's very small. Once the grommet's in the eardrum it looks like this. The grommets are designed to be temporary and they usually last 9 to 12 months. Occasionally they can fall out sooner or last for longer. One in four kids will have more than one set of grommets and in some children they have three or four sets. For more information about the surgery, please see the video Insertion of Middle Ear Ventilation Tubes. You can also ask me or contact my practice nurse or look at our website.